Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video for you. It's the Algren Compression Cannon for the game Beyond the Gates Ventaris. Uh, it's a game by Warlord Games. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the pieces here. I'm going to put it together before your very eyes. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the, the finished product, uh, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm excited about the compression cannon. I have not had it yet for the Algren. I've got a lot of Algren stuff. So let's just let's take a look here. All right. Okay. Got some stands. All right, the sponge. I keep the sponge. Looks like we've got a drone, of course, the cannon itself. Awesome. We got a lookout right there. And uh, a couple fellas to put together there. All right, so uh, I'm going to put this kit together, and uh, first I'll show you the tools, and we'll get right to it. There you have it. There is the Algren compression cannon kit, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, these are still kind of drying a little bit. Um, this one here, I like to place the figure and move them all the way back because you had to glue one hand on and there's a socket uh, that you put it into. Now, I knew he wouldn't be completely on the ground over here, so I moved him all the way to the back while the glue was still drying, placed the arm where I wanted it, and slid him forward on top into the uh, arm socket, and uh, it turned out pretty good. Um, uh, it, it tips, so it does it, it will fall down, so you got to hold the back up and uh, place that arm in place. You can use tweezers, your fingers, whatever. I use my fingers for that. Uh, this is not, obviously this is not dry, uh, but there's one thing about Algren uh, spotter drones. They fit on the flight stands real easy. Um, I'm gonna paint this off the flight, stone, flight stand and uh, go ahead and glue it after I'm finished. Um, painting it, that is. Uh, now this guy uh, was pretty easy. You just kind of glue him to the base there. There's enough heft there where you don't have to put a washer down or anything to um, uh, protect him from falling over or anything. Um, it had been cool to do like some sort of dynamic base with him um, uh, where, where this arm, his hands actually, you know, down on the actual ground itself would have been cool. Um, but as far as the arm goes, you saw me cut 
uh, I let I, I held it there for a while until the glue actually dried. Um, it's better not to use on Warlord metals. It's better not to use some sort of uh, quick dry agent like the spray um, for CA glue because they actually um, hold a heck of a lot better if you don't use that quick dry spray uh, for super glue quick dry spray. Uh, anyway, this compression cannon, uh, which is pretty cool looking, um, and has Oh, I got oh I got stuck to it and I dropped it. That's not good. Good thing it was dry. Uh, it's still drying. There's still little pieces of glue there. Um, so uh, it was obviously four pieces. Um, and this fit on the base pretty easy. I kind of dry fitted it and put my dots of glue, set it down there, uh, glued this in, allowed that to dry for a little bit because um, I was these two shields came on a little sprue, metal sprue together with the arms for these other two guys. Um, you can leave them off, you can put them on, however you like. Um, but uh, according to the picture, um, there's two sets of like bearings it looks like to go through here. I don't know what you would call them. Uh, and it looks like from the picture on the website, uh, the two shields go here. You can really put them wherever you want. It's your model. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, uh, but I put it like the picture. Uh, so this is the Algren compression cannon, and I will show you some still pictures right after this. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Please spread the word. I'd really appreciate it. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and I will catch you in my next build video.